Good morning, <clears throat> greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements or other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you or a loved one has a health challenge that you need help with, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today, help you change the lives of your loved ones, friends, family members who are suffering needlessly from chronic degenerative diseases, from diabetes to psoriasis to cancer to heart disease. We are here for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. This is your no-nonsense truth about how the body works, about health, about wellness. The Bright Side, every day we talk about how the body works and how we can leverage the absolutely stunning and miraculous and jaw-dropping healing properties that are built into every single cell, every single structure, every single tissue of the human body. That's why I call this program The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all the Longevity products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business. You can call 866-735-2470 if you would like to talk to a real person or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We are talking about the pineal gland. You don't hear much about the pineal gland. It doesn't really have a large, there's not a lot of medical relevance to the pineal gland. There's a lot of biological relevance, but of course we know there's a difference between medicine and biology. Unfortunately, healing the body or supposedly healing the body via the medical model flies in the face of biochemical logic or biological logic many times, much of the time actually. So it's not surprising you don't hear much about the pineal gland. It doesn't have a lot of medical relevance, but boy, is it important from a biological point of view. The ancients knew, it, knew this. They deified the pineal gland. They called it the seat of the soul. The pineal gland, as we said yesterday, turns on the production of life management chemicals. You could call them stress management. I call them life management chemicals, fertility chemicals, building chemicals, growth chemicals, repair chemicals. I would say that makes the pineal gland pretty darn important. The pineal gland's activity is a function of two major factors. Number one, its ability to sense light, to sense the rhythms of light, the daytime, nighttime rhythms basically, as well as summertime and wintertime and spring and fall rhythms. And our body is thus controlled by the sun. The sun is our puppet master via the action of the pineal gland. The second mechanism that the pineal gland utilizes is chemistry. So the pineal gland detects light and then it modifies chemistry. And the chemistry that the pineal gland is working with largely involves building and growth and repair. In other words, what I'm saying here is the pineal gland detects time via light. It detects light, you could say. We'll just say light. 
late in time being very similar, being, being related, I should say. So it detects time slash light and it responds with biochemistry in response to this light, time, light slash time. And the two major chemicals are melatonin and serotonin. Melatonin and serotonin are our growth, repair, stress, ma or life management hormones, our master life management hormones. They, in turn, initiate the production of other hormones, but our master hormones that control life management are melatonin and serotonin. Melatonin and serotonin are stimulated by the pineal gland, light, uh, time, light into the pineal gland, into melatonin and serotonin, and you get the secretion of DHEA and uh, progesterone and cortisol and testosterone and estrogen. These are all building and fertility and growth and repair and life management chemicals, steroid hormones. And there's also a very, very, very important relationship between the two major building chemicals in the body. Steroid, steroids are your life management chemicals, but you have two major building chemicals in the body. Probably, arguably, the two most important chemicals in the body, or at least multifunctional. Melatonin and serotonin are the master hormones, or master uh, chemicals, I, I should say. But the two most multifunctional chemicals, insulin and cholesterol. Insulin and cholesterol. Those, you can make a very serious and very logical case that those are the two most important chemicals in the body. Certainly, they're the most multifunctional, cholesterol and insulin. I'm talking as far as their impact on the body. Later on, we'll be addressing the insulin component, sugar metabolism, how the body processes sugar. There's, that's the hypothesis of the book Lights Out by T.S. Wiley. Very fascinating book with a, a very fascinating hypothesis that more and more, I don't want to say it's becoming more well-known, this hypothesis theory, this idea, but when I first read Lights Out almost 20 years ago, and that was the first time I'd ever heard of this idea that light and our exposure to light affects how we process sugar. According to this theory and according to the book, Lights Out by T.S. Wiley, this disruption of uh, the pineal gland or the pineal gland, this disruption of the pineal gland's light sensing cycles by 24 hour cycles, the pineal gland doesn't get cycles because we have 24 hour lighting now. Oh, and it's only been 120 years or so since the late 1800s that we've had this 24 hour lighting. And obviously it's gonna have some kind of impact if you realize or if you understand that we're light beings, as we just said. So this theory, this idea is that in, because insulin is related to the pineal gland, and insulin is also related to obesity and heart disease, so-called metabolic syndrome. In fact, as we talk about all the time in this program, it's the second point in the triangle of disease. This 24-hour lighting of ours may be, if not completely responsible, at least partially responsible for our epidemic of metabolic syndrome and, and uh, insulin-related diseases. We'll talk about that later. Today, I want to talk about cholesterol. For the next few days, I want to talk about cholesterol. And I know we talk about cholesterol all the time, but it bears repeating. Cholesterol is your body's biochemical best friend. And I know I say it all the time, but because learning is not just from hearing a fact and memorizing it, you, learning something is kind of like you hear these things over and over and over again until it just becomes part of us. You hear these concepts and these ideas, the things we talk about on the bright side every day. I know I repeat myself, but when you repeat over and over and over again, it kind of becomes part of us. It's like the individual facts that we repeat are like threads. And then after you hear them over and over and over again, you eventually get this fabric made up of all the threads that is like an idea or concept that we know, like two and two is four. Like we just know two and two is four. To know something, to really understand something, to integrate it into our, uh, so it becomes part of us automatically, doesn't even require effort. If you hear something over and over and over again, if you've been listening to this program over more than a week or two weeks, uh, for more than uh, maybe a week or two weeks or a month or a sh uh, as, sh as short as uh, a couple of months, you have an understanding about health and wellness and how to maintain it in a way that transcends the individual facts. You can read biological facts on the internet and memorize them. That doesn't mean you really understand them. To really understand biology and the science of life and the body, you have to listen to these facts over and over and over again. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll come back with more good health information on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. I'm sorry, benfuxarchives.com and brightsideben.com. And also, uh, you can purchase all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with accelerated aging of the skin or dark spots, or if you want to prevent accelerated aging of the skin, retinol works even better as a preventative for anti-aging, as I've said so many times on this program. Retinol is your go-to act, uh, topical anti-aging active along with fat-soluble fat vitamin C, and that's exactly why I created Truth Treatment Products. I discovered this as a compounding pharmacist, that healing the skin equals anti-aging skin, equals high concentrations of retinol, as well as fat-soluble vitamin C. You don't need the preservative. You don't need the emulsifier. You don't need the oil or the wax or the silicon or the water. But that's what you're paying for when you buy a typical skincare product, unless you purchase Truth Treatment products, which you'll find at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so last, uh, before I went to break, we were talking about this idea of hearing things over and over again. I know I repeat myself, but it is worth it because as you repeat yourself, as, as you hear facts repeated over and over and over again, uh, all-encompassing ideas begin to emerge. Like we talked yesterday about how when you hear, uh, if you have one data point, you have just a dot on a page. But if you have multiple data points, a picture starts to emerge. The same way that a picture starts to emerge from multiple data points, a picture starts to emerge when you hear ideas over and over and over again. We talk over and over and over again that the body uh, is a building machine, but it's in balance with breakdown. Breakdown and build up go together. When you're healthy, you're building up faster than you're breaking down. When you're sick, you're breaking down faster than you're building up. So reversal is building. Reversal of disease. Re uh, uh, if you have a chronic degenerative disease, you're going the wrong direction, basically. You just turn it around. You go from degeneration to regeneration. Aging is the same thing. Aging is when we degenerate faster than we regenerate. The trick or the idea or the concept if you want to reverse a degenerative disease, it's as simple as going into the, uh, helping the body or facilitating the body into going into building or anabolic mode. Cholesterol is a building substance. Insulin is a building substance. Toxicity interferes with building. These are the same basic ideas we talk about all the time. Toxicity, mostly getting in through the digestive system unless you're sticking things in through your skin. Disease being a function of dirty blood, period. You can't be sick unless you have dirty blood, and dirty blood cannot help but make you sick. All disease is cell disease, which follows dirty blood, and all cell disease is starvation, suffocation, and toxification. We say it over and over and over again, and as we say this, these ideas over and over again, a picture starts to emerge that tells us we break down logically. We don't just randomly get arthritis. We don't just randomly get diabetes. We don't just randomly get cancer. We break down logically, not medically, not magically. Medicine is magic. This is not about magic. This is logic. This is why I never say cure. You don't need to say cure. You say reversal. We don't cure disease. That's magic. That's what medicine does. It cures disease. But of course they can't, so they say there's no cures for their diseases because they can't. They would love it if they could, because they want to be the magic man. It's not magical. It's divine. It's logical. It makes sense. And by the way, yes, divinity is logical. Intelligence is everywhere. And that's what divinity is. It's the intelligence that runs the universe. And it runs our bodies. It makes sense how we get sick. We eat the wrong food. We eat too much of it, especially sugar. We don't get the right nutrients. It's not magical. It's logical. We don't exercise. We don't leverage our mental natures, our emotional natures, our spiritual natures. We don't even acknowledge their existence. We drink fluoridated water. We don't breathe correctly. We take prescription drugs to mask our symptoms. We don't sleep enough. These are the logical things, or these are the things that logically lead to disease. Under these conditions, of course we're going to get sick. And when this idea of logic that 
that develops in our brains as we hear these ideas over and over again, when this logical development and progression of disease, this picture of the logical progression of disease starts to emerge, it makes less sense to expect the doctor to be able to do anything about it. The silliness of expecting pharmaceuticals to make us better and the sneakiness of the drug companies that tell us this on their commercials becomes obvious once we see that the body's not breaking down magically, it's breaking down logically. We begin to see that it's not the medical model that has control over disease. It's not the medical model that can do anything about disease. It's the choices we make. It's not the war on cancer. There's no need for a war on cancer. All we do is make better choices. You don't need a war on a disease. If you have a war, you got to have weapons and you got people to sell you the weapons. And that's why we have wars on disease. But we can do it ourselves without weapons. It's like uh, the kingdom of heaven is within. You look, go inside. You go to your life. If you're sick, just go to your life. And I'm not saying that to beat anybody up. And I'm not certainly saying that because I'm better than anybody because I'm not. I'm just saying if you're sick, this is where we need to. If, if, if we have a d disease, a degenerative disease, this is where we need to turn to. And it's not, doesn't come, you get this picture doesn't emerge, this conclusion doesn't arise from me saying that cholesterol is our body's best friend, which it is, or that all diseases sell disease, which it is, but from saying it every day, as well as all the other messages that we hear every day, that degeneration can be turned into regeneration because it's in the body's nature to heal. I'm talking stage four breast cancer here. My doctor, uh, my, uh, I have a friend who does my doctoring because I have to go see a doctor once a year for my insurance. She had stage four breast cancer 20 years ago. Stage four. And she's still here to be my doctor 20 years later. Everything. Stage four breast, uh, breast cancer, heart disease, acne. It's in the body's nature to heal. And if we say it every day, for weeks, for months, for years, for decades, hopefully, on this program or in other programs or anywhere, I, I'll say it till, for the rest of my life, eventually a picture will start to emerge that will be so reassuring and so empowering and so liberating from the tyranny of this medical model that wants us to go to the doctor every year even though nothing happens, nothing, nobody, even though we don't get better, we only get worse. And this is why I think it's important to say over and over and over again that when it comes to cholesterol, this is your body's best friend. If you want to destroy a civilization, if you want to destroy a culture, there is no better strategy than to deprive it pharmacologically of uh, its ability to make cholesterol, or its citizens' ability to make cholesterol. Yes, that is a population control strategy, just like fluoride in the water. I, I don't know if it is intentionally, put it that way. But it could be. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. And it certainly has that effect. Tell that to your next doctor who wants to put you on statin drugs because your LDL is too high or your HDL is too low or blah, 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 blah. Tell them that cholesterol is your primary building substance. So why does cholesterol go up? Because we're tricking our body into building. We have done all kinds of things from eating sugar and high calorie food and processed food and, and uh, all the stress that we have in our lives to tell the body that it's breaking down, it needs to be built or it needs to grow. We've tricked the body into thinking it's perpetually summer. It's perpetually time to grow. And that's why the cholesterol goes up. And we've done it through 24 hour lighting perhaps. But for in large measure, we've done it by what we're eating, especially the sugar. Cholesterol, hypercholesterolemia, too much cholesterol in the blood, equals elevated blood sugar, elevated insulin. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, truth skin health products, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to the bright side. And we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. And we've got uh, blog posts as well as news stories at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and all the longevity products as well. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team or purchase, purchase your longevity products at brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or you can call 866-735-2470 for more information 
want to also remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com our truth retinol 5% gel truth transdermal c serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by harper's bazaar magazine our truth transdermal c balm and truth omega 6 healing cream all up at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com so tomorrow we'll continue talking about cholesterol primary building substance and its relationship to the pineal gland no surprise there because the pineal gland is uh, connected to building as we said the pineal gland response to the sun by secreting serotonin and melatonin and in response the body handles its business does its business of life and its business of life is uh, facilitated biochemically by life management chemicals the steroid hormones primarily and building chemicals like cholesterol and insulin they're all connected they're all linked together and we'll continue this discussion we'll also talk about the importance of cortisol stress hormone which is actually, even though it gets such a bad name, or we always talk about elevated cholesterol, deficiencies in cholesterol are a big problem also. Deficiencies in cholesterol can be caused by problems with the 24 hour, or disruptions in the 24 hour daylight cycle, or problems processing sugar. We'll talk about all that on our next and coming Bright Side episodes. Speaking of sugar, 844 236 6010 is our number. We have lines, lines open for you. Speaking of sugar, from the journal Brain Research, diabetes drug significantly reverses memory loss in mice with Alzheimer's. Huh, interesting. Mice with Alzheimer's, that's kind of a strange concept there, but they can create all kinds of things in laboratory animals. In any case, a drug developed for diabetes could be used to treat Alzheimer's after scientists found it significantly reversed memory loss in mice. How do you like that? You work on your blood sugar, and your Alzheimer's symptoms disappear. Now, if you're logical and you're just a regular person, you say, okay, well, that makes sense. Work on my blood sugar and my Alzheimer's will disappear. If you're a drug company, you say, let's come up with drugs to do it. You don't need drugs. You don't need medicine. You could do it yourself. We could all do it ourselves. Alzheimer's dementia is just another manifestation of the triangle of disease. The triangle of disease shows up in many guises, in many shapes, in many forms. All chronic degenerative diseases, including dementias and Alzheimer's, can be backtracked to the triangle of disease. In this case, point number two, which is, diabetes, which is uh, insulin and blood sugar. Alzheimer's disease is a symptom of a decaying and deteriorating brain. Decay and deterioration, or behind de decay and deterioration, you're always going to find sugar. That alone tells you why you want to restrict your sugar, or limit your sugar, go zero tolerance if you can. Speaking of which, from the University of Washington and Boston University, high glucose levels could impair ferroelectricity in the body's connective tissues. Okay, so let's talk about this. High glucose levels, too much blood sugar, could impair ferroelectricity. Ferroelectricity is the generation of an electrical charge, period. Ferroelectricity is when things just go electrical in the, for no known reason. Well, for the reason because everything's electrical on some level. Even a rock is electrical on some level. But some biological tissues are much more electrical than ordinary tissues. They're super ferroelectric and connective tissue is really electrical. Yes, your cartilage, your collagen in your skin, in your face, in your bones, in your blood vessels, it's all highly electrical. In this case, as they say, ferroelectrical, F-E-R-R-O, ferroelectrical, ferroelectricity, the spontaneous generation of electrical charges. Connective tissue is an electrical wiring system. And this is why connective tissue diseases are so problematic. And this is why building connective tissue with bone soup and with cartilage and with hyaluronic acid and with your pig pack, your longevity pig pack and your glucogel caps is so important. This is why vitamin C, which is the key element in the building of connective tissue or the key vitamin or the key substance in the building of connective tissue is so multifunctional and so important. Because when you build connective tissue, everything works better. Conversely, when the connective tissue deteriorates, everything falls apart. And guess what? High glucose levels or blood sugar is your connective tissue's worst enemy. Again, the triangle of disease, point number two. Laying off of sugar is one of the most multifunctional, one of the most has 
the most multifunctional benefits, perhaps the most multifunctional benefits of any health strategy you can do with per, the, the possible exception of working on your digestive system, which is all connected. Because point number one, the digestive system, is linked to point number two, the blood sugar system, via the intestine, via the microbiome, via bacteria. This is how point number one proceeds to point number two. This is the bridge, the jumping off point from point number one in our triangle of disease, the digestive system, to point number two in the triangle of disease, the digestive system, is the bacteria. It's the microbiome. It's the gut. It's the intestine. So working on blood sugar will provide more multifunctional benefits than any other health strategy with a possible exception, with the exception, we'll say, of working on the digestive system. Sugar glycates connective tissue. Glycation, G-L-Y-C-A-T-I-O-N, glycation means sugaring, carameling, caramelizing. Just look at what sugar does to a, uh, just burn sugar in a pan, and that's what happens. To, that's the reaction between sugar and the connective tissue, that burnt, crusty stuff is what happens to the connective tissue. Under conditions like this, there's no way we're not going to get sick. We have to get sick. The good news is, is once we correct the sugar issue via nutrition, that is laying off of sugar as best as we can, and using nutrients that help the body process sugar, sweeties, chromium and vanadium, niacin, the ultimate niacin, selenium, the ultimate selenium, more fiber, alpha lipoic acid, high al uronic acid. All of these have tremendous benefits. Sulfur, MSM sulfur, arginine, the amino acid arginine, the amino acid taurine. All of these have wonderful benefits for not, for helping the body process sugar. So laying off sugar, number one, helping the body process sugar, number two. Okay, let's see, got one more here. We'll save that for tomorrow. Let's uh, go to the phones. Our number, 844-236-6010. Danny's been holding on for a long time, for over 20 minutes. Thank you so much, Danny. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Oh, thank you for taking my call. Uh, I, about a year and a half ago, I had uh, some diarrhea issues. I went to my digestive disease doctor, and he told me that uh, my pancreas wasn't functioning 100%. Okay, that'll cause diarrhea. Absolutely. Hey, hey, you want some? Uh, Creon, 36,000 units a day. Hey, Danny, I, I, need, I hate to do this. Danny, I'm sorry, my friend. I, I, we're out of time. Can you hang on a second, and we'll come back to you and get back from our break? I hate to do that to you. I apologize, sure. but we've got to take a commercial. Thanks, Danny. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We're back on the bright side, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And for our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We're talking to Danny in Florida. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. Danny, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, okay, so... Uh, so you had like some pan. Well, well, let me, let me just sum it. Hang on a second, Danny. Uh, Danny. Danny. Hang on a second, issue. Danny. Danny. Hang on a second. Hang on just a moment. So uh, you said before we went to our break that uh, you had some pancreatic issues, diarrhea, very common if you have pancreatic issues, and then they put you on a, a pan you said a, a digestive enzyme product. Creon, uh, correct. Yeah, the Creon. The, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and it's very, that's, a, that's a great enzyme, by the way, the Creon, except it's just one of many enzymes that you need, and that's the problem with how yeah. drugs work. How, how continue on? Tell me how you did or how you're uh, doing. I also take probiotics. I okay. I take more enzymes for uh, systemic inflammation. I also take stomach, uh, stomach enzymes for, for helping my digestion. Okay. I vitamins. I buy organic foods. Okay. What else to do? Oh, you got to please, Danny. Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? You got a million things you could do. <laughs> All right. So listen. How old are you first? I'm 71. Well, God bless you. You're doing great. Is that the only thing you have going on? Is your digestive system? You don't have any arthritis or any high blood pressure? Or any? Uh, well, I do have uh, high blood pressure. Uh, okay. I take one pill for that. All right. We're gonna fix everything. We're gonna fix everything for you. It all starts with the digestive system. If you've listened to this program, I don't know if you have, but if you have, you know I talk about it all the time. The pancreas is a digest a lot of things. I call the pancreas Mr. Cellophane. Do you ever see that movie Chicago? Mr. Yes. Remember the song, Mr. Cellophane? No, everybody looked right through him. They didn't even notice who he was. They just ignored yes. him. 
That's your pancreas, which is unfortunate because arguably the pancreas is the most important organ in the body. Arguably, there's others that you can make a case for, but certainly you can make a case for the pancreas. Why? Because the pancreas makes the enzymes. Enzymes are chemicals that facilitate every single chemical reaction in the body. Without enzymes, nothing happens. Without enzymes, you are a rock. You're like a stone. You don't move. Nothing happens. You're, obviously, you're dead, but life doesn't occur without enzymes, and the pancreas makes most of the enzymes in the body. This is why pancreatic cancer is the most deadly of all cancers. Now, you're focusing on the digestive aspect, and that's very good. That's smart, and your doctor was, was, very, it was very clever to put you on uh, the Creon because that's pancreatic enzyme, but it's just one. You got a lot of other things you got to do. First, you got to figure out the bottom line here is you got to figure out what's causing your digestive distress. You're 71, more than likely, God bless you, you've been doing the wrong thing for a long time. So you got to figure out what you're eating that is causing distress. At this point, it's probably a lot of things. So that a fast or a swear OV cleanse it, it would be highly recommended for you. A fast where you just do water for a couple of days or a swear OV cleanse where you do half a bottle of swear OV every hour for uh, maybe two or three days. If you do three days, that's great. Three days would be awesome for you, to, at least two. When you start eating again, eat very carefully. Eat only one kind of food and try to ha uh, eat it at, uh, uh, try to uh, uh, eat it uh, ground up or somehow processed in a smoothie, for example. So if you can do it, you know, you can't put your pasta in a smoothie necessarily, but you can put your veggies in a smoothie if you're eating a lot of veggies. Or uh, eggs, you could put those in a smoothie if you're eating eggs. In other words, try to, try to have your food pre-processed. This will take the load off the pancreas, and it will give you a good idea of what foods are you're having a problem with. You with me so far? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so pre-digesting your food and then trying to isolate problem foods. Then, once you've isolated the problem foods and you've eliminated them, you're going to move on to the sugar issue. The pancreas is your primary sugar processing system. And given that you're 71 and you're living the standard American diet, you're living the standard American lifestyle, I assume you are, although you sound like you know more than the standard American does, you're probably getting too much sugar. So start to wean yourself off the sugar and start to use nutrients that help the body process sugar. Now, what about honey? I put honey in my... Same, in my food same. Honey requires insulin, too. Pancre insulin is made in the pancreas, and anything that stresses the insulin system is going to stress the pancreas. And honey will do it. It's better than sugar, because you get some nutrients in there, but it's still going to put a stress on the pancreas that you don't need. You're 71. Honey's for children. Sugar's for children. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm being a little facetious here, because we're hardwired to go for sugar. But the burden it puts on the pancreas, it doesn't serve us as we age. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So nutrients that help your body process sugar will also be helpful, and nutrients that make your insulin more potent, will potentizing your insulin will be helpful. Not, I, the list I gave previously, niacin, chromium, vanadium, vitamin B1, which is thiamine, uh, arginine, taurine, those are amino acids, sulfur, alpha in the form of MSM, alpha lipoic acid. If you're not on the ketogenic diet, you may want to consider it. But you might have a problem with the fats, so you got to be a little bit careful with the ketogenic diet. Because the pancreas is your fat absorbing or fat processing uh, uh, gland or structure or organ too, because the, uh, the enzymes that come out of the pancreas help you process fats. This is where your diarrhea is coming from, by the way. You're not processing your fats. So you got to be a little bit careful if you're going to go ketogenic. Continue the Creon. You may want to use the ultimate enzymes for longevity. Those contain pancreas enzymes. You can get pancreatic enzymes, other pancreatic enzymes. Pancreatin, if you ever heard that term. Pancreatin contains lots of pancreatic enzymes. Other enzymes will help too. Protein digesting enzymes will help. Bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts, ox bile. You'll get those in the ultimate enzymes, but you'll also get those in, uh, you'll also get those in uh, uh, pancreatic uh, in. Uh, uh, by themselves, you can get, go get straight ox bile supplements at the health food store or on the internet for that matter. Uh, eating less food, as I said. The blood sugar, you really want to make sure you're taking control of that. The high blood pressure tells me that you're also having a problem with your blood sugar. Usually they're connected. Have you had, are you on a statin drug or they, do they ask you to be on a statin no. drug? No, yes? no, nothing like that. No, not a good for you. Is that the only drug, just the high blood pressure drug? Yes. What yes. did they put you on? What drug? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, a beta blocker because I had... Okay. Uh, I had How does the bit, problems with my which, heart, and they fixed that. What, what, with what, ablation? Ablation, yeah. They did ablation. Well, you know, I, I'm not, don't take this the wrong way, because I'm here to help you, not 
to put you down or anything, but your body is just deteriorating, breaking down, following, secondary to lots of things you've been doing wrong. It's like I was saying this whole program, that I dedicated this program to the idea that the body is lo breaks down in a logical pattern, in a process. Your breakdowns are, are not magical. They can stick electricity in your heart and cauterize it, and your rhythm will, you won't have the arrhythmias anymore, but you still have the bodily breakdown progressing, and this is what happened. What's happening? Uh, uh, Danny, you've got 40 years left to live if you do this correctly. You've got a I lot less if you don't. If you don't mind. Yes. What is your opinion of the, uh, of the uh, uh, it's a cleanse where you put your foot in and it, and it detoxifies okay. you? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I, I'm not convinced it works, but it sure is compelling when you see the black water, right? Have you seen the black water? Yes. That's pretty compelling. It's pretty, it looks pretty convincing, so I, I would say it wouldn't hurt you. It's definitely not going to hurt you. I don't know, but your problems are bigger. Your problems involve what you're eating, number one, especially the sugar, and nutritional deficiencies, number two. Now, you said you're on probiotics. That's awesome, but you also have to be on an all-around program that gets you your mighty 90 essential nutrients, you could very well be missing electrolytes, the B vitamins, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, number one, because of the pancreas -ish, pancreatic issues, and number two, because of the uh, diarrhea. Uh, I didn't tell you about baking soda either. Have, have you heard about baking soda? Do you know about baking soda for the pancreas? Uh, no, I haven't heard that one. You might want to consider using a, maybe a half a tablespoon of baking soda daily. Baking soda is one of the most important uh, um, secretions, one of the po most important gifts that the pancreas provides the body is baking soda, plain old baking soda. And it's critically important, unbelievably important for the digestive system. If your pancreas isn't en making enough baking soda, it's called sodium bicarbonate. They don't call it baking soda in the body, but sodium bicarb, you could easily have a problem with fat absorption, which could easily lead to di uh, the diarrhea. Get on the internet, Google Dr. Mark Circus. S-I-R-C-U-S, Mark Circus, and baking soda and the pancreas. Anybody who's got pancreatitis or pancreatic issues or even just digestive problems, baking soda is a pretty gentle, benign, non-pharmacological, non-toxic strategy using a quarter teaspoonful daily or so. Potassium bicarbonate works also. It's a little harder to get, but with potassium bicarbonate, you get potassium. Look in the, uh, uh, Check out Dr. Mark Circus, pancreas and baking soda. Okay, right. thank you. All right, Danny, Thank thanks so help. much. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you, and I'm glad you called. Appreciate it. All right, that's the music, and that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Please check out my Truth Treatment products, all the Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum, and our Truth Transdermal C Balm at truthtreatments.com. And sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. If you like what you hear on this program, if you're a helper and a healer, if a nutritional supplementation has helped you in your life and you're an entrepreneur, you owe it to yourself to check out the details on the longevity business. Click the Join the Team Now link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.